All right, so, you know, Boeing's been in real crisis mode uh, for years now. If you remember that before COVID, there were a couple of jets, uh, Boeing jet 737s that crashed, killing everybody on board. One, I think, was in um, Ethiopia and the other one was in, in Asia. Uh, and uh, these were uh, 737 Maxes, and uh, there was a real issue, and it was a quality control issue, it was, uh, and there was lack of training of pilots, and there was a computer uh, computer issue. It should have been they should have been able to foresee, and uh, they did not. And as a consequence, uh, they fired the CEO, and they brought in a new CEO, and the new CEO is trying to up the standards. But then, of course, a a, a recently an, on an Alaska Airlines flight. Uh, a, uh, a door panel just blew off a 737 MAX 9. This is Alaska on Alaska Air. As a result of this, the FAA has, uh, has gone in to evaluate the manufacturing process. It's found dozens of uh, problems, of issues, both with the suppliers and with Boeing itself. Uh, and um, it, it, it is... Uh, uh, it's tragic. I mean, Boeing is one of the great American companies. Now, I believe that Boeing basically has grown too big. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'm against antitrust. I'm against the government getting involved. But certainly, size matters, and size in business can be a significant detriment. I also think that Boeing relies too much on its prof for its profitability on its defense business and on government contracts from the defense business. And it has slipped dramatically in its commercial side, uh, in its quality, in its engineering focus that Boeing used to be, uh, used to be proud of. Um, now, Boeing has is, is, uh, vowed to figure this out. The Department of Justice is actually pursuing criminal investigation over the the uh, the, the uh, panel that blew off. I think there was a story that the panel blew off and that there were some bolts that were missing, just missing. Now, how did Alaska not see that the bolts were missing? And how did Boeing sell a plane with missing bolts? Now, this is having a huge impact on the industry. Uh, a lot of airlines are suspending their uh, purchases of planes from Boeing. Uh, United has basically told Boeing to forget about delivery of the 737 MAX 10s, focus on the 9s, and it is shifting a lot of its orders to Airbus. Um, the gap in valuation between Airbus and Boeing has never been higher. Uh, Airbus is doing significantly better. There are only really two companies in the world right now making airplanes, and when, Bo when Boeing uh, loses customers, Airbus is... Uh, gains customers. Uh, a, a whistleblower, uh, a Boeing whistleblower who had uh, s uh, uh, exposed real manufacturing problems at Boeing uh, was found dead this weekend. Uh, it appears that he committed suicide, but it does seem like all coming together in a weird, strange kind of way, right? Um, anyway, this is a real problem. This is because of the way regulations play out, because of the way the airline industry is regulated, because of the size of a commitment, uh, uh, you know, that capital expenditure that uh, uh, buying an airplane involves, this industry, basically, there were only two players, certainly on the large aircraft. Uh, smaller aircraft, there's a, there's a couple of other players as well, I think Canadian company. But... Uh, when it comes to large aircraft, there are only two players, Airbus and Boeing. Probably not a healthy situation to be in. The problem is that the only, the, the only potential for a third player in the space is China. China has recently launched their own commercial airplane business. Uh, they want to compete directly with Boeing and Airbus. And at this rate, at this rate, uh, they will and they could capture significant market share from Boeing. Uh, people will consider a Chinese company given how bad Boeing is performing right now. So there's a real potential. Uh, in an, I, my strong belief is that in an unregulated environment, 
and in an environment where the government played a much smaller role in procurement, that there would either be more aircraft manufacturers or these companies would be so much better. Uh, it is possible that I think the Canadian that makes the smaller planes will get into uh, competing at least at the uh, 737 level, kind of the mid-size uh, mid jets. We will see. But this is, this is super interesting from the perspective of markets. It's super interesting from the perspective of the economy. Boeing is a big chunk of several states' economy. It's a really interesting, uh, interesting story in terms of how this all evolves and, um, and builds and um, it goes forward. I don't know if it's Bombardier. There is a Amber, Amber Air, or, 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 the people who make, I think there's an A200, which is the name of the airplane, uh, but I can't remember the name of the company that uh, builds it. Um, let me just look it up. I'll tell you. Um, uh, no, the A220, the A200 is actually an Airbus, um, an Airbus company. So, um, not sure. Right, I'll uh, I'll keep looking. Um, yeah, it's probably Bombardier. Oh, that's the A200. Yes, the A200, the Bombardier C series could be renamed Airbus, uh, the Airbus A200. Um, so um, it looks like basically Bombardier built the plane, designed the plane, developed the plane, and then sold it to Airbus. And Airbus is the one that is going to actually build it and send it out there. So it is Bombardier. And then there's Embaer. Embaer is Brazilian. I thought Embaer and Bombardier merged at some point. So uh, em Embraer... And Bombardier, I thought it merged, but maybe maybe they haven't, or maybe the merger was never uh, was never approved. Uh, I uh, I don't know, but anyway, an interesting industry to watch. I I, I find these things uh, uh, interesting, um, and uh, so we will see. The world of business is uh, is fascinating. It looks like the Ambayer is still independent company, but there was at some point a merger attempt, and maybe the merger attempt uh, got um, got crushed by some regulator somewhere. Bombardier Air bought Canada Air. All right. All right. Cool. Anyway, Amber Air Aircraft, um, I fly on them all the time, and American Airlines uses them for their, as their regional jets, and uh, so I fly on them all the time.